God, I am hot. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is May. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uni haul. As you can see, all of my uni stuff is in the background and I'm just going to be showing you what I've got to move in for first year. Um, I'll give you a background of what I'm doing at uni. So, sorry, I'm so out of breath. Oh, oh. Right, uh, so I am moving to uni in September. I am moving to Birmingham and I'm studying learning disability nursing. I'm really excited to move to uni. I was really excited to do all this shop. Um, yeah, I've watched so, so many videos of this. To get, one, to get ideas of what I need. Two, just because I love watching these videos. And last year I decided to take a gap year. So all of my friends were buying their stuff for uni last year and I was so 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 jealous i really wanted to do it with them but i had to wait another year and my time finally came and i was so excited to do my haul and to do my shop a few days ago i went to asda ikea and donelm um with my mum and we got pretty much the majority of the things and then on actually today <laughs> that's what i said on um and then today i went with my nan because my nan wanted to buy the bedding for me she wanted to buy all the bedding uh like the duvets the pillows the bed sheets yeah let's just get into the video and let's see what i got i will try and remember what the prices are but uh my parents brought them for me so i never i didn't know the prices but nothing was majorly expensive because it was from asda or ikea so it was fairly like reasonably priced um so now, yeah, nothing was too expensive unless I say it was more expensive, which I think the most expensive thing was my mattress topper. But I'll just get into showing you. So the first thing I have here is my duvet. So I got this duvet. It's a 13.5 tog. It's from Wilco. And I have a double bed, a uni flat. And so I got everything in double. Me and my nan went to Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda and then finally we found a 13.5 tog in Wilco. It was a trek, <laughs> it was a lot of effort but we finally found one and it was very reasonably priced, it was £9. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long it will last just because it is cheaper, because it's cheaper duvet but it will last me the year, hopefully next year as well. Like yeah but i wanted a thicker one and then in tesco at the moment all of their duvets and pillows are everything like everything are half price so i definitely recommend going down to tesco and getting anything you need now because it was all yeah it was all half price um i i want to say these pillows were eight pound fifty nine pounds i could be wrong i probably looked at the wrong thing but i basically got two silent night pillows it's a pack of two and i got two packs so i got four pillows four pillows in total sorry i'm really uncomfortable and i'm trying right okay that's a bit bad uh, sorry i've had to change position because i was too it's too painful something like that so i got this mattress topper from dunelm it's just a rebound mattress topper i don't think it's anything special it was 36 pound but it, ha it had money off so i think it was about 28 pounds instead i think again this was my most expensive thing because i think a mattress topper you need to invest in because it makes the bed so much comfy like i have two on because <laughs> i'm so extra i have just a normal mattress topper and then i have like a fluffy fluffy <laughs> a fluffy mattress topper on top of that <laughs> on my bed now um but i think especially with uni rooms like you don't know who's slept on that you don't know what's happened on those mattresses so i think a mattress topper is an essential thing to have um yeah so i got that so i got the, the ikea bag that was there and i'm gonna go through what was in this so i'm gonna start with the bedding oh 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 that mattress topper just fell down um so i got this bedding from ikea it's oh, oh i'm so unfit i'm so out of breath from walking to get that ikea bag bloody hell <laughs> once again i have this i oh, fucking hell man i can't talk today right i have this bedding from ikea <sighs> I have this bedding from Tesco and it's a pink and white geometric pa uh, 
pattern because uh, I don't think I mentioned actually that I am going for a pink and white theme so a lot of the things in this are pink when I say pink and white majority of the stuff is the stuff is pink um whoops I'm not quite sure how much this was because we did just find it on a random shelf in Tesco and we thought it was really nice so we just picked it up uh it's probably something like oh my god whoa <laughs> a seagull literally looked like it was about to fly into my window um but I want to say it's probably something like nine pounds but yeah my, my nan brought me that next I got a silent night fitted sheet and then I also got another one from Sainsbury's and this was £6.50 and this one was I think it was about £5 so yeah just two double white fitted sheets I got this this is so pretty I got this duvet cover uh like duvet set from Sainsbury's and I want to say it was about £20 so it was a bit more pricey but um I think it's so worth it because it's so pretty it's this floral bedding and like you can have it on this side with the like loads of flowers or from the looks of it, it looks like you can have it on the other side which just have like flowers and butterflies dotted around it's got that and it was really really pretty so yeah the only thing i didn't get which i completely forgot because those duvet sets come with two pillowcases and i have four pillows i'm gonna have to buy four white just plain white pillowcases which is fine like they're not gonna be that expensive and you can pretty much buy them anywhere so we'll probably just buy them closer to when i move in but um yeah things i got when i went to asda ikea but, yeah so i got this um i got this washing basket from ikea it was about seven pounds quite liked it because it folded up so it's easy to like take to uni um rather than like the one i have now doesn't fold up it's just like a stiff one so i got these two cushions from asda and they were five pound each they look quite big but they are actually quite small like compared to the if i get the pillows i have now compared to the pillows i have now <laughs> it is a lot smaller plus my pillows now are quite thin um but yeah they were five pound each i saw some really nice ones in tesco which were exactly the same style they were just a little bit bigger they were 10 pounds each and i thought that was ridiculous because i thought they were four pounds but no the gray and the mustard ones which were exactly the same cushion just two different colors were four pounds and the pink ones were 10 pounds and there was a six pound difference just for the color which i thought i'm so baffled like that is such a ridiculous price range just because one's pink um so yeah when i went to ads and saw these were five pound i was like i am grabbing these plus they're smaller and i think the smaller ones just because it's not a full double it's a three quarter you want to i think the small ones will suit my bed better so i got two of them so then the next thing i got i got from asda again i don't know how much it was but i'm gonna guess it's like five pounds it is just a bathroom bin it's dusty pink and it's just normal bathroom bin because as a girl you need a bin in the bathroom speaking of bathrooms that is one thing i need to get which is a bathroom storage that has about three or four drawers just because you don't get any storage in your bathroom and obviously you need to put things like sanitary stuff and like shower gel things like that so i am still looking for a drawer to put everything in um we might look in b and m home bargains find something cheap but we just couldn't find anything that was cheap or the right thing that i needed <laughs> is one of my favorite purchases and this is the only reason i went to Dun dunelm because i needed this blanket it is a teddy bear blanket i wanted this in gray because i didn't want it I, I didn't really want it in pink just because i thought oh maybe it's a pink overload but i ended up getting it in pink just because they didn't have a gray they had a white and i have a smaller white one but it gets dirty so easily and like when you wash it it's just like the, the fluffiness goes uh, and then they had like this brownie color and i wasn't really vibing with it but i got an extra large so it is massive this is it was 20 pounds but it is i don't know if you can tell yeah you can it is so 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 it's a bit of fluff in it already i cannot wait to cuddle up the, in this in like the winter um i mainly wanted it obviously for myself but like when my friends come like if i have two friends at a time for example one can sleep in my bed with me and then one can sleep on the like on a blow-up bed or something and rather than having a spare duvet i can use this blanket because when i went to visit my friend um whenever it was me and my friends who are twins 
I would sleep on the floor and she'd give me her blanket, which was in grey. Um, and I, oh my god, because it is so big, it literally acts like a duvet and because it's so fluffy, it's so warm. So yeah, that's one main reason I wanted it. In here, it's a bit random, um, but my mum went shopping and it was half price and she thought, because it's quite, it's like an expensive toothpaste, she was like, well, it's half price, I'll buy it for you for uni. So I got this Sensodome Pro Enamel <laughs> toothpaste. Um, I did say to her, I was like, it's a bit premature, like we could have just got in it, like, on the food shop when when i move in and she was like no it was a half price and i think they're normally like four pounds so it's like two pounds but yeah that's everything in this bag so i'm gonna move on to these boxes now there's not really any order to anything i'm about to show just because i just put in boxes things as they came out of the bag um so it, i've got a box here with loads of stuff and then i have three sort of separate boxes so i got two gym glasses from dunelm they were £20 reduced to £10. I wanted gin glasses specifically because I drink a lot of gin. Um, so I and I drink them out of gin glasses at home. And I just think it would feel, feel weird drink, not drinking them out of a gin glass. So they were only £10 for two. So I got these from Dunelm because they didn't have any at all in Ikea. Like they only had wine glasses. Next I got some glasses from Ikea. So... I'm not sure how much each thing was, but they were probably about 50p, one pound, like it wasn't that expensive. So I got four pint glasses because I drink water and I drink squash out of pint glasses literally all day. Like, I don't know why, but I literally will not drink. If you give me a glass of water that's not in a pint glass, I probably will drink it, but I won't enjoy the experience as much because for some strange reason, I have to drink out of pint glasses. Next, I got just a normal size glass to be honest for if I ever drink like apple juice orange juice because the, I will only drink out of normal glass size glasses for those kind of drinks um so I only got two of them just because obviously I don't like I said I don't drink out of them all the time and then again if I have something like vodka lemonade like I can just have it something in my that box <laughs> the next thing is really really heavy but it's basically my plates bowls plates and stuff so i got a 12 pack oh my god this is so heavy oh i got a 12 pack of pink <laughs> again pink plates and bowls this is from tesco 12 pack so four of each big plate small plate and a like a cereal bomb so yeah i got 12 of these i probably don't need four of each but just like having four just in case i'm a bit lazy with washing up or i'm a bit clumsy if i break one at least i've got like other backups kind of thing so yeah moving on to this box um this is sort of just now onto like melanious melanious stuff for like the kitchen and everywhere i don't really remember what's in this box <laughs> this is as much as a surprise to you as it is to me so we got i got three oven trays non-stick from asda so i yeah so there's two of these smaller ones and a big one it only came in a pack of three like you, there was no like separate ones like it was just a pack of three again not sure how much this was next i got these from ikea and it is just a pack of three tupperware because i used to have these at school and i just put like a salad in it or um a sandwich or like like have a like a pasta salad or something for lunch to take with me to uni rather than just buying stuff obviously i don't know if i will have make my lunch every day but it's just sort of nice to have something in case you do need to put something in it so next thing i got i got this from i got this from asda i think it was like 50p just a measuring jug just a standard measuring jug to be honest nothing else to say about that then i got a pack of three heat mats because you don't really want to put the hot pans on straight on the surface so like just putting on one heat mats helps uh get ikea don't know how much it was next i got a watch so many like videos of uni halls and everyone says to get a dish 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 oh my i can't get the words out today a dish match it <laughs> a dish matic sponge where you put the washing up liquid in the handle and then you just you just wash up so i got one of these and then i got um three like replacement sponges next thing i got is an apple corer because i eat apples only when they're cold 
I will occasionally eat an apple normally, but I just much prefer them when they're called. And plus, if I'm having like a bowl of fruit, like with strawberries, raspberries, things like that, I will always cut up an apple and put them in there. So I thought, just get one from Ikea. Probably like, they were probably like two quid, one, one pound, two quid. Next thing I got was, right. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet that uses these, but I got some loafers. Is that what they're called? Loafers? Something like that. A uh, pack of three from Ikea, a pink, a white, and a, like a bluey one. I use these all the time at home. I never used to. They have so much shower gel. Like you put the tiniest bit on one of these and it literally covers your whole body. Whereas if you're not using one, it just, you're using, you're wasting things. And I literally can't remember having a shower without using one of these now. Like it's a lifesaver. Like honestly, try one if you, if you don't use them, try them. They, they are amazing so yeah i just got a pack of three of them because obviously i want some fresh ones for when i go to uni next i got these from asda and it's a pack of 16 piece cutlery set and you guessed it <laughs> it's pink um but yeah i got this 16 piece again i probably don't need four of each but they didn't do anything smaller so gonna have to deal with it but it comes with knife fork spoon and a teaspoon so yeah don't know how much this very bad but i wanted i for, for cutlery i wanted something different because i didn't want just a plain silver cutlery because i it would just get mixed up with everyone else everyone else's so i wanted something that could distinguish that this is my cutlery and then oh, i hate myself for having so much pink but it was also pretty in the store so I got a tin opener that is like a pastel pink and it's just a tin opener. Uh, sorry, it's not a tin opener. It's a can opener. Same thing in it. Tin can opener. Same thing. Just put it on there. Twist it. Honestly, I was going around like this in the shop. Oh God. I was going around like this in the shop and the one we have at home is so stiff. Like I'm literally like this to try and get out so when i go around this i was like jeez mom i didn't realize how old and stiff our one was until i did this so yeah i just got this it was pink there was a pink and a gray one but obviously i went for pink next i got these bits from ikea so i got two wooden spoons because whenever i make macaroni and cheese i need a wooden spoon when you're cooking you make you have to have wooden spoons <laughs> So I just got two, probably like 50p each, not quite sure, but don't quote me on that. And I got this pack of, I don't actually know how many things are in here, but I have a tong. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard because they're all... I have a tong, a spatula, um, like a, you can't really see, a spaghetti spoon. Um, a, man, I don't know the, I don't know the technical terms for these but i've got a deep spoon and a ladle i don't know if they're the right words but i know how to cook i just don't know the words for the things so yeah <laughs> next thing i got was um this is from this is from ikea cup holders like cup measurers for like if i bake or anything and then these were on sale in ikea um and i got four mattress uh, not mattress four pillow protectors i'm not quite sure what the pillow protectors do but my mum told me i needed to get them so i got four of these with some bag clips because i don't personally use them at home but my friends tell me that i have to use them because they are life changing apparently so i decided to get them i got a bottle opener slash corkscrew thing from ikea uh then i got a pack of three scissors from ikea then i got four shot glasses i think these are like probably like 50p each or something Heart. I thought that was gonna break. I honestly thought that I was gonna hit the side of the box and break. Right. Oh my god, I'm gonna put these back. So yeah, they were probably like 50p each. I decided to get four. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna actually need, but four sounds like it would be enough. Then what I've got in, I got a Tupperware box for 
I just got one of these because if I make like spaghetti bolognese and I have leftover mints, I can just put it in here. Um, then sort of doesn't really fit with the rest of what was in this box, but it's just this some like cactus. I have some on my windowsill already, but I thought I wanted to keep them at home and get a new pair for just my windowsill at uh, uni so basic with some cactus and plants but i think having and even though it's fake just having greenery around your room i feel just makes your room more homely and more just alive because you've got have like greenery in it so that's everything in this box i got the last few boxes um and i got this bin so i'm probably gonna start with this so i got this bin and i got it from ikea it was about a pound i got this bin for my bedroom so in this i've probably got pretty much just all decorative stuff uh, so I have two pink plant pots. I got this plant here. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to put it. I might put it on a shelf or my desk or something. But I got this to put in the plant. Again, it's fake. But like I said, I think greenery just spices up your room. So I got this for some other plants. I'll go through the plants actually I've got down here. So I have these two that I have from home that I'm going to take probably just put on my desk like i have them now but i thought i'd take them just because it if i have them at home i might as well take them rather than buying new ones so i got these and i'm gonna take them in the pots that i already have in two like white ones um and then i have a hanging ivy i actually have two because i brought one thing i could put on my my mirror when i got it but actually i don't have anywhere to stick it so I thought I'd just take this with the uni. I have it this in silver. I might change it to the pink, but I might use the pink as like my makeup brush holder. But I just have this hanging ivy. Oh, ivy? Is that is that it? Hanging ivy. But yeah, so that's all the like planty stuff I got. And then I got two picture frames. I only got two just because I have a pin board, like pretty much everyone. And I'm just gonna print off a load of pictures and pin them on there rather than putting them in photo frames but i've just got two that i can put on my desk or like on a shelf or something so yeah uh, i don't know whether i'm going to put pictures in them or like these like postcards i got from like paper chase i don't know if i'm going to go to paper chase and buy some that i can like buy to like put in here um then i got this from ikea it's like a squeegee for the bathroom so once you have a shower you can like squeegee off of the wall and off of the door to prevent dampness not quite sure it prevents but just having a squeegee i think this is like 75p these are not actually i didn't actually buy these i already had them at home but is these two cork posters i have them at home i got them like last time i went to ikea um and i forgot to actually buy them <laughs> this time well we didn't actually see them but I thought I'll just take the ones from home because I do have a coaster already here so I don't need another one. And then finally I got two sets of fairy lights from Ikea. Never bought fairy lights from Ikea but I thought I'd buy two because these are, what did they say they were? They always say they were 1.5 metres each, sorry, 3.4 metres. And I wanted it to go like down one side of my room and like across the window and like or something like i'm not quite sure how long these are gonna be but we'll see what i can do with them when i get there whoa god um but yeah every, that's everything in this bin and then i'm gonna move down to this so obviously this is holding the plants that i've just shown two boxes um i got these because i have them at home and i put my underwear and socks in them and they work really well so i thought i could get them and put them at the bottom of my wardrobe so they're out of the way my mum said but what if you have drawers like i'd rather not use my drawer space for underwear i'd rather use it for like storage like even my hair stuff or school and or like school or like uni work or like something a bit more practical than just underwear and socks so i thought i'd get these put them in the bottom of my wardrobe and just keep it a bit more organized so i got them then i'm going to move on to this box uh again this is i think most of this is from asda so this i got this bath mat from i from asda I think it was five pounds and it's just like a um bobbly material i don't really know but just put it on outside of the bath just to prevent the floor from getting wet 
Uh, yeah, and then I got this toilet brush holder in pink. Yeah, just a toilet brush holder. Woo! -hoo. Glamorous. Then I got this marble. Can't really see. Can you see? Like a marble toothbrush holder. So I thought I could put my toothbrushes here, my toothpaste and stuff. So yeah, I just got this to keep it organised in my bathroom. Then I got, oh my god, I love these. These oven mitts. Look, they're like, got giraffes on them. They are so cute. I just thought, uh, it's, it's the like, same colour pink. It goes really well. And yeah, just the oven mitts. Nothing else really to say. I probably don't need them, but they were so cute, I couldn't resist. Then I got some digital kitchen scales, just because, like I said, I do a lot of baking and even when I'm cooking like my macaroni and cheese I need like certain amount of cheese certain amount of things and I think just having scales cooking is so much easier than like eyeing everything so yeah definitely get these I think these were about seven quid from Asda so they're battery operated um so yeah I got them and then I got two um, oh I thought I picked up two of both but I didn't I got two mixing bowls I got a big one a four litre mixing bowl and a 2.1 litre mixing bowl um I probably don't need a big one and a small one I probably don't really need a mixing bowl but I thought I'd have a mixing bowl for when I want to do pancakes or making banana bread like I said again and then I've got a bigger one for I don't know something else I've, I don't know if I mentioned but I have a banana bread tin at home already so I'm just going to take that with me so I didn't buy one but I just thought I'd mention that, very much the amount I'm talking about banana bread. Uh, then I got this safety bath mat, um, just to stick inside of the bath so I don't slip over. Um, it's nothing special, it's literally just this horrible print from as I pro it was probably like two quid, but yeah, I just got that um, because I think this does help a lot. Oh, sorry, this just help a lot from you not slipping over and just having the bath a bit more. Safer. And I got a cheese grater. This is two pounds from Asda. Um, we have them. We have these at home from IKEA, but they're so good. Like you literally just grate them and they go in the pot. Um, so yeah, I just got one of these because I eat a lot of cheese. Oh, I didn't even see these here. But I got a pack of three plastic chopping boards. Get plastic chopping boards. Don't get wooden because if you get a wooden chopping board, if you're cooking meat on it, the like meat like the raw chicken like it soaks into the chopping board and it's just not it's not good for you to obviously eat raw chicken meat and if you like even if you wash it because it's soaking into that wood like it's still like the bacteria still stay there so it's not safe for you so get plastic chopping board um so i got three uh red green and a blue one so one for meat one for the veg and stuff and then one spare um i don't know why i told you each one then i got one of these things to stick on the bath or the shower it's like the sucker thing so you go you go into the shower you know um a wire caddy a bath caddy there we go and just put shampoo conditioner shower gel maloof things like that um so yeah i don't know i think it was this is about seven quid as well from asda so yeah i think recommend one of these but in mind you don't have a lot of shower space getting one of them will save the amount of space that you're using because you can keep your shower gel shampoo and things in there um so that's everything in this box we're moving on to the last box now so so in this box can't really remember what's in it because i think a lot of this stuff was stuff I already have at home that I didn't actually buy, so yeah. Ah, here we go. Towels. I got two hand towels from Asda. They were pink. What else did you expect? So, I got two of these. Two hand towels, two bath towels, and two... Oh, I got... Oh, I didn't realise. <sighs> I got four flannels instead of two. I didn't realise they were a two pack. So I got some flannels. I got four when I was only supposed to get two. Whoops. Oh well. 
Um, and then I got as well as a bath towel. So I got a bath sheet. I got two bath sheets, two bath towels, two hand towels and four flannels. All in this colour pink from Asda. I think they were fairly cheap. I think they were on their rollback section actually. But yeah, I got all of these towels. Yeah, I got all these towels. I wanted a bath towel to put like my hair in. Obviously a hand towel for like when you're drying your hands. And then bath towel is like, the bath sheet is like the bigger one that you can use for your body. All of this in here is actually, uh, no it's not, apart from two things, all of this is stuff that I have from home that I'm bringing. So basically, backstory on the pans, <laughs> not that anyone cares, but we basically recently got our kitchen redone and we got a new hob, which is induction, I think that's the right word. So none of our old pans work, so I picked the pans I wanted myself and I'm taking these basically, I'm taking these. So here's a lid. And it's one of the ones that has a strainer, so I didn't need to buy a colander. I basically just put the lid on and pour it out. They need a wash, by the way. Like, I, I will wash them before they go. But I got this small pan. Like, as you can see, it's really dirty of, like, dust. Ugh. But small pan, medium pan, bigger pan, and a frying pan that is right at the bottom. Yeah, that saved a lot of money because I think pans are, like, one of the most expensive things to get. So it was quite ideal that I didn't have to buy any. I just took the ones I ordered from home. Plus, these ones from home I use all the time and they're really good. So, yeah. I have this toasty maker that I don't... I, we didn't buy. My brother had it when he went to uni and I'm just taking it with me. Um, I don't actually think we bought... I think we won it in a raffle like a few years ago. But it's literally just this toasty maker. Because if you get in from a night out and you want a toasty, then... I've got a toasty maker... This I got from Matalan. This is four pounds. I got four tea towels. So it's a white and pink checkered one and then a pink and white checkered one. So they sort of alternate. So yeah, I got four of these. Four pounds. I probably didn't need four, but it was cheaper to get four than it was to get two. So I thought I might as well get four because I'm sure they'll get dirty or lost or whatever. So yeah. So I got these are actually pasta bowls in exactly the same colour from Tesco as the plates I showed previously um, but they didn't have any like pasta bowls in the set and I really wanted I was in needed bigger bowls for like my actual like meals if I was cooking pasta so I got I got two this is one this one's really dusty so I'm not gonna show the other way but yeah I got two of these the last thing is one of my favourites because it's so easy to cook on is this frying pan and I'm so glad that I have it because I love it so much. It's this fry pan, it's non-stick, it cooks pancakes so well, it cooks eggs so well, it's just such a good frying pan. It's from Thermospot? Is that a brand? I don't know. But it's just really good non-stick. So if there's one thing I do recommend, get a non-stick pan, non pan because it will save so much time. It will... Just having something that's non-stick is just not the one like not the one at all that is everything i want to say thank you so much for watching this video i don't know how long it's going to be because i've been filming for pretty much almost an hour so i will try and keep it as short as i can but i did buy a lot um again if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would really appreciate a subscribe i'm planning to do a video of me moving to uni a plan of how i found freshers week in the whole of obviously lockdown or like after a pandemic see if it's the same um i'm planning to hopefully do like day in the lives of a uni student or day in the life of a student nurse um and just try and do uni content for you i think i will closer to like september like just before i go i might do a video on nursing advice like tips for interviews if anyone's interested really hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you in the next one bye